Hello, I'm Dr. Ola Langram. I'm a specialist in myeloma care at Memorial Sloan Kettering Cancer Center. Today, I'm going to talk about a concept called minimal residual disease, or MRD. If you're being treated for myeloma, you may have heard this term from your doctors. Being positive for MRD means there's a small number of cancer cells remaining in the body that haven't been killed with treatment. Why is this important? Because if there are still cancer cells in your body after treatment, even if other tests suggest you're in remission, there is a greater chance of the cancer coming back. This is called relapse. And more treatment is usually needed. When you are receiving chemotherapy and after you finish treatment, we do tests to look for residual cancer cells in your body. In our clinic, we believe MOD testing is an important way to assess the effectiveness of myeloma treatment. We have therefore created a strong MRD testing program and continue to develop new testing strategies. Our goal is to develop highly sensitive tests based on blood or urine samples, allowing us to monitor patients with minimally invasive methods. Memorial Sloan Kettering's myeloma specialists and others across the globe are refining the tools we used to look for MRD. We share a goal of killing all myeloma cells in the body to achieve an MRD of zero. MRD zero is a goal set by the International Myeloma Foundation's Black Swan Research Initiative. I'm one of the founding members of this program. Through this effort, scientists in the country and in Europe are collaborating to develop ultra-sensitive tests to accurately measure MRD. I think we have come a long way in a short amount of time, but there is still more work to be done. Our joint goal for someone with MRD zero to be defined as cured. We are working hard uh, to get there as soon as we can. How can we achieve this goal of no cell left behind? Here at Memorial Sloan Kettering, we are using the best available technologies and other tests to measure MOD with as much sensitivity as possible. One test is called Next Generation Flow Cytometry. With this technology, we are able to find one myeloma cell among 100,000 cells in the bone marrow. Our test platform is more than 100 times more sensitive than most traditional MOD tests based on flow cytometry of a bone marrow sample. Second, we are analyzing the genetic code of myeloma cells in the bone marrow at diagnosis and again when a person has achieved what is called a clinical complete remission. We are trying to correlate these studies with the analysis of genetic signatures in the blood. As I mentioned earlier, the ultimate goal of our research is to design blood and urine tests to study myeloma, cell biology, and monitor treatment response, so people with myeloma can have these tests in place of some of their bone marrow biopsies. We already have research tools to detect the same genetic signature in the blood as we can find in the bone marrow when multiple myeloma is first diagnosed. But there is still work to be done before we can use these tests to reliably determine if someone has reached MOD zero in the blood after therapy. Right now, the bone marrow tests are more sensitive, and we hope to change this in the near future. Third, we have a powerful molecular imaging program here. We can use tests such as MRI, CT, and PET scanning to see changes in the bone marrow at the time of diagnosis, and also after therapy in people with myeloma. We believe that adding molecular imaging to flow cytometry and the genetic analysis of myeloma cells could make our search for MRD more sensitive than ever before. And we are developing strategies to integrate all these methods Finally, as part of our research program, we are developing approaches based on mass spectrometry technology. Our aim is to find the proteins that myeloma cells uh, produce. Even uh, when those levels are too low to be detected using other tests, these proteins can even be found in the urine. And we are fortunate to have mass spectrometry experts here at Memorial Sloan Kettering who have been developing these techniques for related diseases for many years. 
how might our research on MRD benefit people with myeloma? First, we'll have the most sensitive tools available to determine if a patient has truly achieved MRD zero or if there may be a need for more treatment. Second, if we learn that residual cells are still present, for example, we can develop new treatments through clinical trials that are targeted to the subtypes of myeloma that the person has. Finally, we can refine the timing of therapy to determine if a treatment is best given early in the course of the disease or later at the time of relapse to kill remaining myeloma cells. Our goal to achieve zero minimal residual disease is a new paradigm for the treatment of multiple myeloma. We believe we can do more than treat this cancer as a chronic disease. With this new approach, we are aiming for a cure. For more information about myeloma care at Memorial Sloan Kettering or to schedule an appointment with one of our specialists, please call us at 646 497 9062. Thank you for your interest in our program.